Greetings and salutations, welcome back to another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard playing as Garwal. We are going for the 52 Gars achievement, where we need to have 52 forts that so we're actually paying. And we have to be out of debt when we're doing that. I can move these trips down to Gorwar. Should get rid of the last of our rebel problem for the moment. Really do want to increase our government rank because I won the third diplomat. What do we need more of? Okay, uh, looks like we'd use all of these points. So we'll just look at the province. It produces cotton, which is a pretty good good. So I'm just going to increase that base production. And then we'll get an accepted culture as soon as we can. And I can see that we could embargo somebody, insult somebody, get some additional power protection. And Malwa, I think we still have a truce with them. We do. Take some free war taxes. Don't mind if I do. Just Delhi is over. They don't have any allies. Do we have a claim on them? We do. Well, it's a very little reason not to finish them off. We've got aggressive expansion managed for the moment, I think. I'm sure we'll do that. Another arrival. Heck. And we'll just lose prestige. Other oh, trips are overperform. Thing there. I mean, obviously, it's because of the Highlands, but oh, with how few troops they had, that, that wouldn't be an issue at all. Yeah, Delhi is still a rival for the moment. So we got power projection for declaring war on them, and then we got power projection for taking their provinces. Let's target outraged. Okay, so what can we do here? Unified culture probably isn't going to happen anytime soon. We might be able to control some sort of trade here, maybe the silk trade, but that's going to be hard. Convert another nation, maybe. Let's take a look at our cultural group. Yeah, so we'd need to take over John Poor. So that's really not plausible.
Uh, who that upset? Wow. I mean, I really don't care. Because there'll be four nations that will exist because Delhi's going to be gone. Yeah, I, I don't think I really need to worry about that. First, we give up this so it improves relations with Jumpor, our ally. And let's go ahead and bump our government we got. Ah, Multan. So much development. Okay, the other thing we wanted to do is ensure that we don't have revolts at these newly conquered provinces. Up funding unnecessary forts, especially now that we don't have free war taxes any longer. Oh, running out of sailors here. Let's get these guys back in port. And we've become a great power. Here we've got another diplomat, so let's top off relations with our allies. It's our big weakness, is we've got a lot of aggressive expansion, especially now. And our army isn't as big as we would like. But other than those problems, I think things are going nicely for us. Pay 21 favors. Let's go ahead and bump up their trust right away. We can make some states. Let's take a look at what our options are. Okay, this one looks like a wrong choice, as does that. And I think we'll just wait until we integrate in Balukasan and make this a state and this a state. So there'll be two more. Once we get this all cord, we'll add the state up there. <laughs> no. Might as well make that a state. Now let's prioritize things to give us overextension. I don't actually want to attack them in the mountains, but we'll head over in that general direction. See if we can beat them. Yeah, we'll beat them there, so they'll attack us in the mountains. Upgrade our military attack, but not change troop types until after that battle. And we can get Bengal as a rival. Let's do that. It'll solidify our relations with our allies. Bengal did like us. Now they will. Those relations with the Soward as our modifier for easing tensions expired anyway. Oops, I didn't compare those two. Yeah, that one's the stronger offensive one, so that's what we're going to take for now. And Gorwar. Yeah, that's where we'll just keep our trips for the time being. Okay, 
Okay, Gujarati. Let's go for Rajput. Okay, Provincial Feud. Do we want Tem Prestige? And loyalty from our nobility. Or do we want... Oh, 20% chance of losing our just... No, that's not worth the risk. Definitely is not. Multan. Yeah. Uh, I want to core that first. They've actually done all right for themselves by keeping strong allies. Yeah, those relations are suffering badly. With all the aggressive expansion. So think about threatening war over Badakhshan. I think we'll have to wait until their allies are attacked or something. Wow, how does Ming even qualify as our rival? We're second place. Wow, we're sixth. I guess it's because colonialism hasn't happened yet. Ming's behind by an institution. But still. We have 20,000 troops. Probably have four times that. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty accurate, my guess, too. Margin of error of 5%. Okay, next month we should be able to start coring this. Wow, this is as high as we could get the relations. Okay, production efficiency or inflation. This will just cost us money. Inflation costs us monarch points, so... Should mark them as friendly. Would like to vassalize them eventually. Probably not going to happen though. Unless we get completely preoccupied with wars to the west or something crazy like that. Okay, Nepal. Yeah, you're still at one. Uh, uh, make John Poor like us more. I'm actually going to go for that. I almost never take that option. Venetian Coalition. that in mind, I should start funding these forts. Of 
for sure. What's in our state? It is. Let's see if we could claim it. Well, it's a little bit more aggressive expansion. We've done it before we accepted, but. Yeah, we will occupy these two. They're in our state. I think we'll specifically target them. Okay. Lowered unrest? Sure, that's worth 60 ducats. Because our ruler's young. That lasts... Is it his entire reign or hers? Jeffrey Ming is a potential rival here. And we'll take the land for some modifier because he's the only affordable one. And they'll help us when we integrate in Baluchistan anyway, so it's not a waste. Okay, so we'll target outraged. Two. Topped off relations with all of our allies anyway. Oh, you. Okay, so what do we want out of this? I think we want that state and this one, so let's go ahead and mark these three as being of vital interest. Now, if they pull out all their ships, they can win. Yeah, they're going to. Worth a shot, though. They would foolishly left some import. We could have wrecked half their navy and then come back for the rest later or something. Okay, we're going to start trying to convert that province. Yeah, see, like this sort of thing. Not the best admiral ever. Look at corruption. Oof. And just pull back and port. You know, keep them away from the front until we get some more troops. Okay, that was a nice little stack wipe. And now we could 
try to take this fort again. Sadly, they do have a larger garrison than they did the first time. for it for a month. Oof. Pull back. Be a little bit more careful. Just keep that affair quiet, because I won't have to deal with it. Bring down war exhaustion for the sake of our economy, our manpower pool. Yeah, it's... Getting a little overly ambitious with the quality of our troops. As long as these two navies don't march up together, I think we have the advantage. And kill these two troops. There we are. It will get some more troops and get some more morale, and then we should be able to force them out of this area and lay siege to this province again. One more month. Yes, so we're going to hit there on the 12th. So we're to that garrison. Come on, guys. Back me up here. Thank you. That solidified our advantage a little bit. But they did get to merge up their fleets, so that's not entirely ideal. Let's see if maybe some of them will go into port or they'll split up. Uh, they're going to win this. That's not good. Hold the line, hold the line. Okay, these ships are a little beat up. I could sort out the garrison here, but they're going to win that battle. 
unless these guys get there in time and they're not going to be able to because they have to go around. The reason why we're moving over here is just that I'm going to get too close until our numbers get back up. Okay, 25 minutes on the video. Increase our taxes a little bit. I was comfortable attacking them because I could sort out the garrison and get another 1,500 men, but they got a few more troops in there, so I'm no longer all that comfortable with it. Okay, so this wouldn't be a great province to develop. This one would. So I think this is going to be where... We're going to state this up. Way too much development to give to any estate. Why don't we give this? Okay, so this is the one we're going to develop. Let's put in place our state level encourage development edict. And then do we really need that? Not yet. This doesn't make development any cheaper, nor does that, so... Just gonna spend our points there. 16%. I'll give us a little bit more manpower each month as well. And let's tell them that friendlies can attach, because I want these 2,000 troops. So now they do have a little bit of an advantage. I do want that bonus here, because now we have a discount to development. Get to the end of the month, and then be comfortable marching forward to attack them. And then we'll just sort out the garrison. They don't have much manpower left, so hopefully they'll peace out Pomani soon. And we'll just stay right here for the time being. Actually not blockade. I'd rather not lose any sailors. And hopefully they'll move out a small number of troops, or ships, and then we'll hit those ships. Okay, guys, don't spread out. Aw, oh, don't give up that fort. Okay, that worked. Let's try to finish these guys off. They're gonna kick us out of here, maybe. No? Hmm. Where did they go? They must have snuck past us. Yeah, they did. Ooh. 
Oof. So at least the rebels are between us and them. They're clearly faster than us, but not them all the same. No, don't kill the rebels. Except for those ones. You can kill those ones. Okay, I think we have this now. We control enough of the forts. Really have control over movement. Yeah, if a few more troops trickle their way over here, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, like these troops will probably come in if we move over and attack, which I'm going to do. Come on. Now you wanna. Okay, and that's about the last of the fighting that we can do in this war. Up to 43%. Already? And Bamani says low enthusiasm, so I bet they'll peace out. Wow. You betrayed us. You should totally troll us and break the alliance as well. What kind of crap I would do to him. Okay, let's keep an eye on our time. We're at 32 minutes, so let's stop here. Thank you.